In the ceremony today, there was very little reference to the Islamic terrorism which caused the attacks on the Pentagon and World Trade Center. And there seems to be a political correctness that somehow it's, it's good to avoid addressing it. But for the first responders, they've got to know what the motives of the people who may be causing the attacks that will jeopardize the responders that they'll have to respond to. What do you think about that? Well, personally, I have a problem with it. I, I think it ought to be addressed. I think the truth ought to be told. And for some reason, I agree with what you said in our strive for political correctness. Uh, we don't want, we being uh, mostly the politicians, don't want to address the cause of it. But I think addressing the cause and having a conversation about that and how we can stop that behavior will prevent future acts of violence like this. Do you think the firefighters feel like they're being done a disservice by having the education withheld about the motives of potential terrorism, the, the most likely terrorism to strike North America? I don't, don't know that they think um, the education is being withheld because Certainly within their fire stations, uh, you know, there are discussions about it. Um, I, I think it's um, the, the people that don't want to mention it, the politicians, um, uh, I think they're the ones doing the firefighters a disservice and maybe doing themselves a disservice. But I don't think it's getting by the firefighters. They're aware of what's going on. But by avoiding it, do they make it seem to the public that it's also taboo to address, which o only makes it more likely that uh, we would be defenseless against what could be potential terror? Yeah, I suppose that it does, and and I would guess that um, um, whichever terrorists are watching us, when when our leaders do not address it, then they must feel they're getting away with something. And that they might have a clear path to a clear path to do it over again, or, or to um, cause some other type of um, terrorism event. Like, for for example, well, I don't know what they might do. I mean, we've got we talked about it earlier: chemical weapons. Um, you know, we've, North Korea's uh, apparently now got uh, mm -hmm. nuclear weapons on missiles that supposedly can reach our shores. I mean, they, they launched one right over Japan. I frankly was surprised that Japan didn't do something about it. If there were an attack, let's say a, a, an Islamic terror attack at LAX, for instance, would the LA Fire Department be called to respond or does the airport have their own? No, the, the Los Angeles Fire Department would be called and uh, we protect Los Angeles World Airports. That, that's a branch, a division of the? the? Well, Los Angeles World Airports runs LAX and um, Van Nuys Airport. They used to operate Ontario, but that's now been uh, returned to the city of Ontario. So, Do the, uh, do the firefighters, uh, let me rephrase. How do the firefighters feel about the issue of Islamic terrorism not being addressed, at, especially on occasions like 9-11, when that was what was responsible for killing so many of us? Well, you know, I don't, I don't really know. Um, I mean, I've been retired for nine years, so uh, I, I haven't been part of any uh, fire station conversations for that length of time. Um, I think it was... Um, it was probably more easily talked about uh, right after 9-11. Um, seems that over the last uh, maybe eight or nine years is when it, we haven't talked about it so much or talked about the reason for, behind the attacks. Are you hoping that this administration might make addressing these issues a little clearer? Because I don't think the president mentioned it at, at his uh, White House ceremony today or Pentagon ceremony. Uh, okay, and I, I did not see that. And certainly I hope uh, that all of this gets addressed. And uh, I, we address, um, you know, so many other things and, and talk about them as, as the way to heal them. But, but for some reason, 
This isn't one of them. Or hasn't been? Hasn't been one of them, that's correct. Uh -huh. Are you hoping for better? Absolutely.